Sitting here having my ragag sandwich with eggs, cheese, and anchovy sauce, mishawa, my karak, and I just got a message from my friend Trevor James saying he's finally coming to Dubai. This is amazing. We've been talking about this for the last one year, and it's finally happening now. You know, Trevor wants something insane to eat. Now, the one thing that is synonymous with this area is the camel. While a lot of people still do eat camel meat, it is not common. And the thing that is even less common, very rare, very special, done for super high-end special occasions is hewar, baby camel meat, prepared in the style of a ghuzi. So the entire baby camel placed on top of a huge tray of flavored seasoned spiced rice. Trevor, this is your first time in Dubai and I want to make sure that I get you something that is super, super unique so we can make that super duper insane video about Dubai. I'm about to meet Trevor James, the food ranger who's here in Dubai, and we've got an amazing day plan. And he's eaten some amazing things all over the world. He's here, and I've organized something super special for him. If you've already watched his video, then you know what I'm talking about. It's a super special day. If you haven't watched his video, here's the link up here. Go and watch that video. It's an amazing, amazing video. It's an amazing perspective. And then please come back here, watch this video, like this video. And uh, since you did come back, I mean, you might as well subscribe as well. I would really, really appreciate it. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? Wow. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Wow. Exciting. Yeah, it's super nice. All right, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, come on in. So guys, I am finally with Trevor. Hey guys. Oh my god, we meet after what, almost a year yeah. of trying to get together. So. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's god. really nice to be here and I'm just so excited to, oh, to hang out today and eat some delicious camel. Oh, and Ting is here as well. Hey, man. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be really good. So sorry, I haven't been to this restaurant and that's why we walked in and it's a jewelry <laughs> store. <Yeah. laughs> So, I know we have a lot of gold and diamonds here, but we don't eat gold and diamonds. So, <laughs> so we are at the Al Boom area right next to the Dubai Creek. And we are searching for Zaman Awal restaurant, which is owned by the Al Harab family. And I heard it's an amazing restaurant. It's very like uh, traditional. I hear it's beautiful. I've never been. So okay. the three of us are going to experience it's it for the first time. It's going to be a new experience. You guys, you're going to love what we're going to eat today. Very unique. Like we really, people don't do this often at all. It's rare. Really? Yeah? Never so, heard of it. Yeah, yeah. It uh. is like really. And, and in this way, I mean, you'll go to places and you'll find now Camel Burger. You might, you know, you might find like just like a little, little bits meat. of Camel Yeah. But not. Not the whole thing. Not the whole thing, so. Awesome. All right, super awesome. Here we go. Here we go. So, we are gonna make the masala spice mixture for the camel. These guys, you know, they're, uh, they've been here for so long and they've been doing this for so long. These guys are like pros at cooking yeah. Marathi food. And by the way, there aren't a lot of people in the country that can make Marathi food and great Marathi food. And we have a ton of delicious looking spices here. Look at this, this is all gonna go into the masala, right? Amazing, yes. Beautiful. So tamarind and white vinegar go in. And then this is local spice? Local spice. Oh, you can smell the cumin in there. Oh, turmeric. Black pepper. This is cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper mix. Oh, so we've got dried lemon. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the dried lemon. Just the inside, yeah. Oh, amazing. So we got a garlic ginger paste going in there. Oh, saffron. Tomato paste. Oh, green chili. Multiple green chilies, like whole, just like ripped apart. So, very important. So, important. So that is like pure fresh oil cinnamon. That's what the real thickness and the potency comes from right there. This is pure masala joy. Oh, 
so that was the marination part two. We're making the masala. Ooh, it smells amazing. And it's super thick. Oh my god. Look at that. It looks so good. I, I kind of want to take a spoon like and dip the spoon in there and yeah. <laughs> it's like it, it's amazing. We should do that. Let's go in for that masala. Look at that. So this is like raw masala and spices going and chili right on and that garlic camera. and everything. It's going on the camera. Right on. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Every flavor you can imagine. Yeah. It's 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 raw spices. Oh yeah, it hits the throat. It's got that vinegar. It's, got... it's all about the cardamom, the chili. Yum. It's so potent. Yum. Yet smooth <laughs> at the same time. Amazing. Wow. Love that guy. Yeah, I mean, I think super nice. This is crazy. Thing. It's phenomenal. These guys are great. This is the chef Aziz. And Chef Abu Bakr. Chef Abu Bakr and the whole team. Hamza. Hamza. Chef Hamza. Chaminda. Chaminda. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr as well. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Amazing. Thank you very much, yeah, guys. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What a dream. This is. It's amazing. And you can smell the masala. The masala yeah. spice mix on there. It smells so potent and. Fragrant, and this is gonna be rolled for six hours, right? Six hours. Yeah. Six hours. Nice. I'm making this one either. I'm putting the fire up the charcoal. Oh, my mm. six hours slowly, slowly. Oh, this is this is cool. Cool. Okay. Wait, I've actually never had a camel in its entirety before. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, this could feed maybe 50 people. Yes. It's giant. It's giant size. I think we're definitely going to donate this after to be, uh, to be generous to the community here. Absolutely. This is the entire camel and now we got to get to the next stage which is to cook. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Awesome. Peeps, we were taking the camel off the table, putting it into a large pot where it's going to cook and look what happened. <laughs> my candela, when it's messy, I got a little too. Oh my god, look, both of us. Oh my god. That's when you know it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, we're gonna wash off and then get this cooked. Yeah. Ready to go. Just added, what was that, cardamom? Cardamom, saffron, Ooh. it's all in there. Amazing. And that masala is so aromatic. God, I wish you guys could smell this. So we just lit the charcoal. It's been three hours since it's been steaming. And this is the second process, so another three hours yeah. to go before we can eat. Yeah. Alright guys, I have to come back home because I could not continue to film like this. I've basically got like, you know, I mean my candora is completely dirty. So I uh, bought the guys home with me, <laughs> Trevor and Ting, they're in the other room. I'm just going to quickly get changed and then head back out. It's just beautiful here. Yeah, I mean this is like, this is like one of the best places, if not the best place to come to. If you want to get a shot, that people will be in awe. I mean, really. Iconic. This, uh, this is the iconic shot, absolutely. So, uh, for all of you who haven't seen it or haven't been to Dubai, take a quick look from the air. Trevor, Amazing. And uh, first time you see this, right? Stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning view Stunning. of Dubai here. Beautiful. Yeah. We had some time, guys, because the camel is cooking, so we came over here to yeah. see a few more things. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go. Right. Let's go check yeah. it out. Okay, so we got here a little bit early. We need another two hours for the camel to be fully cooked. Yeah. And then we begin preparation, so we're here for another four or five hours. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of work to do. But what's ready is the camel. Beautiful camel liver. Look at that. Oh my god, look at this, babe. That is beautiful. Is, yeah, I mean, from a color standpoint, from the, oh, an aroma standpoint, there's... Oh, it's so aromatic. You can smell that thick masala. Mm. It just smells like this, the most potent curry of your dreams. Oh, wow. 
I like that. That's, that's, a, that's a great way to talk about it. Okay, I am personally not a huge fan of liver, to be honest. Okay. And I, I eat it, but yeah. not often. It's not one of those things that I would order. But we gotta do this. Let's go in. So I'm gonna use another. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful camel liver. Oh yeah, with all of those spices. Let's try it out. Right. Mm. Oh yeah. You don't taste the liver in there. Yeah, it's actually it's pretty good. You, it, it has no organy liver like liver. It's just pure. Pure masala, wow. rich masala. That's fantastic. Mm. Alright guys, good news. It's ready. It's ready. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go take plate a look. this thing. Let's plate it. I say plate, but you know, you're imagining it's like a little thing. Like, <laughs> like a giant tray. <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. Wow, Trevor, huh? It's gonna be amazing. And they actually set up plates and like uh, paper mats and everything for us, but uh, we're gonna do it the local way, the real way, the, the real way, way. Yeah. the flavorful way. Yeah, and that means straight out of this big tray. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's gonna be fun. We've got so much other stuff going on here. We've got the boiled eggs. We've got this is the camel hump here, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's, that's like that's just like pure. Pure fat, fat, nothing else. Like that is in the center of the rice. Now we're gonna have to have a little bit. Of yeah, that, let's right? try some camel hump. Let's try some meat, and then we've got the rice here, right? Yeah. With the stuffing. Oh yeah. Oh my mm. God. Everything here is just so good. And Trevor, I gotta tell you, you know, when I called Mr. Harab, the owner of the restaurant, yeah. and I said, look, one of my friends is coming down to town, and we want to prepare a camel meat barbecue for him. He said, don't worry, it's on us. And that's like very traditional because in the past what happened was if there was a tribe or a village or a community yeah. anybody's guest was everybody's guest so he said mm. don't worry this is completely on us amazing and, uh, thank you very much Mr. Really, Hada, really appreciate it yeah really it's, lucky to uh, be here today it's amazing I mean thank you so much for allowing us to film this and just see the whole process yeah right? like, super cool super cool experience oh God, it is phenomenal and uh, we're also going to thank you right after we eat a bunch of this amazing <laughs> All right, let's do let's this. Do I want to just quickly take a break. I mean, we did end up eating, of course, and you will see that in a little bit. One of the things for me is I really want to know about the things that I'm eating in a lot more detail. So whether they're vegetables, fruits, fish, meat, I think I want to understand more about the context because I really think it will help me appreciate it more and also respect it. I mean, you hear terms like beast of burden or ship of the desert because of its importance to the people that lived in this area. We should not discount how important the camel was to the nomadic people of this region for centuries, without whom I would say sustenance and living would be much more difficult. Let me paint another picture. The population in Dubai has been doubling every decade since the 1940s. And as you can imagine, there is no birth rate in the world that can meet that kind of demand. So with the influx of a lot of different nationalities, which we have more than 200 of here in Dubai, comes their cultures, which we gladly accept. But what tends to happen is that you could have an erosion of your own culture. I mean, the Emiratis today make up under 15% of the population. And if we're not careful, there are bits and pieces of our culture, of our cuisine, of our habits, of our traditions that could actually go away. So even though this tradition is very rare today and not done often, I still want to share it with Trevor and you guys, of course, so you guys still see different aspects of the culture over here. All right, enough about that. Are you guys ready to watch the rest of this video? Let's go. 
feel really guilty if we just ate this and left it. So we yeah. definitely have to give this to people that need it. Let's get some of that rice because I want to get some of that saffron mm. rice which also has that split peas. It's got those raisins, it's got cashew nuts. That is incredible rice, look at that. Crunch it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that, that style as well. So turn yeah. it into a ball like that. Go for it. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah? Sweet. From those raisins. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. With the saffron. Oh. Yeah? That is unbelievable. You could eat it on its own, huh? Yeah. You could eat it on its own. Sweet, fragrant with the saffron, the citrusy, the cardamom. How many spices were in that masala? Like 20 or something, right? There must be at least 20 spices in this meal. And there must be another few flavors outside of those 20 spices in this meal. Yeah, and this is this is so complex. And in true like host style, I gotta give you the oh. best piece of meat. Oh, okay. So this is one of the best pieces Thank of you. meat right there. You gotta do that as the host. Oh, so. it's so tender looking. And I did wash mm. my hands before yeah. I came over here. We mm. both did actually, so. Oh. And just look at this massive. That is amazing. Tray. Oh, look. Thing is in on it as well, <laughs> right there. I got you. <laughs> look at that. It is. That is the hump. That hump. The fat. Oh my oh, god. Oh, and you can just. Look oh. That. Look at this. Get a little bit off the oh, top. Oh yeah. And look at that. Got that coriander. We've got a saffron Whoa. on it. And look at that. Look, it's just oh. like running down her fingers. And have you ever had camel hump fat? The only other place where I've actually had pure fat is um, in Turkey. Kokoreç. Oh. Kokoreç. Kokoreç. Yeah, Kokoreç. With fat. Yeah, so this yeah. is the only other time that I've had anything like mm. this. Let's try it out. Right, let's go. Mm. Oh. oh, that is oh my surprisingly God. delicious. Yeah. That is like butter. I, I, it's just like pure butter, but it tastes like it's almost been on the barbecue. Yeah. You can taste that rich cumin. Fatty. Oh. It tastes like a, the fat from a lamb kebab, but upgraded. Oh my god. Oh, that, that is, is so, so delicious. So good. Gonna give you a piece of this bread as well. You mm. didn't have the regag bread. Yeah. And that regag bread. Everything over here has oil. Your hands gotta look like this. Let me see your hands. Uh, <laughs> let me see your hands, Trevor. Yeah. yeah. All right, you pass. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Trevor, we've had three bites, oh. and I am super full. It's heavy. It is not light, people. It is heavy. And look oh. at the amount we've got left here. Oh my God. Wow. That is a ton of meat. It's a good thing that we found that charity to pick up all yeah. this food, because yeah. uh, neither us nor the entire staff of the restaurant could finish it. Could finish that, yeah. so. Good thing. Honestly, coming to Dubai, we wanted to try something unique, and we are so happy to hang out with Taman, who arranged this whole thing, and to have an extremely rare experience. This is really what we dreamed of, and to come here and taste it like this, overlooking the water, is a dream come true. Oh my god, it is amazing to have you guys, really, like, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. And uh, thank Zaman Awal, the restaurant right here at the Albun Tourist Village, right by the creek. This view right here makes this food so much better. Yeah, amazing, truly. Oh my god, this is a fantastic day. Thank you very much, Trey. Thank you. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Amazing. This was Thanks, incredible. Tim. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm obviously going to put all of Trevor's details in my description. Not that any of you guys would want it because you probably already follow him. But of course, I'm going to put that down below. And Thank if you. you don't, by I don't know what percentage in the world, then please do and like this video. But also, don't forget to check out Trevor's video. It's got a lot more detail in it. And it's our entire day, another perspective. And it's amazing. Awesome. Right Thanks, here. guys. Peace out, baby. See ya. Bye-bye. Mr. Salman is uh, the manager mm. over here. And he's the one that helped us organize everything. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Salman. It was really amazing. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So thank, nice. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.